An herbarium is a collection of plants, uh, dead plants, and they're pressed. And what happened was in the 1800s, lots and lots of people collected plants uh, along with insects and things like that. And um, the herbarium was a place where you can collect all of those old plants. And we have a big collection uh, in Talbot Hall where biology is housed. And not a lot of people actually look at them. So actually when I first came here in 2006, uh, I decided to start scanning these um, old pressed plants because they start to disintegrate after sometimes 150 years. Some of these are 150 years old, so they, they're starting to go away. So I decided to start scanning those. The digitization of the specimens actually started before the project. Uh, prof Professor Andy McCall started digitizing with the help of his students all the samples, but he didn't have, uh, he just had the images. He didn't have a place to put them, he didn't have metadata for the images. So when the project started, we took all those images and students helped us adding the metadata. And some of these specimens, again, are over 150 years old, and some of them are from places that actually don't have plants anymore. There's one particular place that um, we looked at where it's in Yosemite National Park, it was in a giant gorge that was filled in to make a lake for San Francisco, so there aren't any plants there anymore. The only plants that are around now are in herbarium. And so these are, are quite precious, and some of them are quite rare, and we also use them to figure out where plants have been and where they're going in terms of migration and, and even with global climate change. So there's lots, of, there's lots of uses that we can use for these plants, but we really wanted to scan them so that they don't disintegrate, at least digitally, and then um, make them available to basically the world. And the thing about scanning these herbarium specimens is that you don't need a key to get in there anymore. All the herbarium specimens are online. And you can actually zoom in really, really close because we scan them at pretty high detail. So you can actually make measurements on the, the photos themselves, or the scans themselves, because there's a little scale bar that's in there as well so that you can actually take scientific measurements off of the scan image um, rather than going up there and maybe if there's two or three people that want to see the same herbarium sheet that's a problem because it's a lot of handling people get in each other's way but if it's on the web a million people could be looking at these things at the same time so um, it's definitely helped me think about how to assign different projects to students and have them um, have the access to all these material all at the same time. I'm Monica Edgerton and I'm an assistant on the digitization of the herbarium. So basically I've been, I worked a bit um, on scanning the ferns for the fern collection. Um, I'm currently working on that. Um, and then also my main project has been um, entering all of the information um, from the labels on the plants. Um, on the pressed plants, um, entering all of that into a, a Google document spreadsheet. Um, it takes a long time, but it's, it's really interesting to, um, I have to decipher the handwriting, and as Dr. McCall mentioned earlier, um, they're, they're really, really old specimens, so the handwriting is, you know, oftentimes very hard to decipher, but um, I put in the, the location of where the plant was found, the name of the plant as it was written on the label, um, who collected the plant, um, and any other details that are on the label. And I haven't been able to work with plants as much as I would have liked. You know, I had to go through all the intro, intro courses and everything. So this is a good outlet for me um, to work with plants and to really, I don't know, get to, um, yeah, basically just getting to work with them is really nice. Um, this is a way at least of preserving the images themselves uh, far into the future as long as we have computers hopefully they'll still be around um, whereas the actual specimens th themselves are, are disintegrating even even as we speak now it may take another hundred years for them to totally turn into dust but um, I think they're very valuable because especially given in terms of conservation of our biodiversity um, people need to know where species used to exist to figure out how our biodiversity has decreased now, from past till now. So we need some sort of baseline. One way people do that is to look at the herbarium specimens themselves and the dates and the places where they collected. And um, 
I think it's just it's been one of the more uh, rewarding things I've done at Denison just in terms of I know that this resource will be out there hopefully long after I'm gone um, it was here long before I was here and I'm hoping that um, digitizing these materials will help you know many more generations of Denison students and faculty and staff work on um, plants.